Hi guys, so today we will be adding automation to our water heater and excuse my mess over there. Uh, but I'm installing this device, this is by Vion and uh, this is a Wi-Fi controllable device that can control, you can turn your water heater on and off and set it up on timer or whatever you want to do. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is uh, pop these tabs and these are very easy to pop up. They look very sturdy. Um, but you can just uh, take one of these uh, pliers, put it right here, and uh, just push it up, and uh, there it comes. So, make your holes, and uh, these are very, watch your hand, uh, you might want to use some gloves, you know, uh, you don't want to cut your hand. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this, and then we're going to start over wiring. Okay, so I couldn't show you guys all the step, but the first thing I did was kill my power. So the main power coming in uh, to your water heater, make sure you turn it off. You check the wires with uh, some kind of electric tester, make sure it's de-energized. And uh, this is the wire that is going to my water heater. So after turning the power off, the first thing you need to do is install the box. Uh, that's important. Um, one of the bad things about the box is it only have one... Um, mounting screw that can go on top this is like the mounting plate there's nothing else so what i had to do was i had to drill a hole and uh, just drill one hole right here so i can uh, hold it to the wall uh, you just need one uh, one is enough because this thing doesn't move all the time so once it's installed it stays in place the only reason i had to do this was because there is some tension when you add your cables at the bottom and it's gonna shift left to or right so i didn't want any movement so now it's nice and sturdy and now I'm going to install my wiring. So uh, one of the things that you need to do is uh, one of the hole is going to be the one that is going to the water heater. The other hole is going to be the source, which on my side is this guy right here. So the source come right here. The load, which is your water heater, goes right here. And this is the electronics. So in the wiring, this is the schematic that came with it. And this is exactly how you're going to wire it. So all this is this right here on the box. And this is your water heater. So the two wires coming from the water heater, one of them is going to the NO2, the other one goes to NO1. And uh, in my case, it's the exact same location, NO2, and this is NO1. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do, is wire the load, which is the black and the red wire, to NO1 and NO2. And which one goes where? Doesn't matter, it's AC circuit, so it does not matter. Uh, this guy, I'm going to put it to the ground. And this guy is not shown over here, but the green is earth or ground, and this is where it belongs. And I'm finally gonna have one more that's gonna run to my main uh, house drill. See, I connected my wires to NO2, which is normally open two, and NO1, which is normally open one. And this matches this guy right here. And remember, everything is de energized at this point. I'm starting my wiring from the load side. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the source which is the power coming in and in my case my power is coming in from this switch and uh, yours might not have a switch yours might be connecting directly from the two wires coming from your breaker panel which is completely okay i just uh, have a switch in the middle so in case if i don't want to turn the breaker off i can turn it off right from here so again the switch is not required you can just connect the wires coming from your breaker directly to these so let's see where See where it's supposed to go <clears throat> okay so this is my 220 volt ac circuit and you can see l1 which is line one comes into common one and l2 goes into common two so this is where i'm gonna go ahead and connect my source the power source so let's go ahead and do it again the wiring color does not matter this ac circuit so let's go ahead and connect that to common one and common two you think so up uh, put my switch back did my connection um, so these this is the wire excuse my kid so this is the wire that is basically coming from the source so forget about the switch don't get confused just think of these two wires coming from my breaker panel and a ground wire uh, so again com one com two the load side goes to normally open two normally open one and then now I'm gonna have to add my jumpers to power up the panel so let's take a look how this is wired so we already did this wiring we already did this wiring so now the only wiring left is the T which is a smart box 
L and N. So L goes to L1, and as we know over L1 is coming to COM1. The other N could be L2, and that is going to over COM2. So these are the two power supplies that we just attached, which is basically coming from our power source to COM1 and COM2, and we're just gonna take those two, jumper it, and go right here. So it's just a jumper from here to there, and that would complete our wiring. Again, color coding doesn't matter, but the L jumper, uh, the red one goes to L, and then it comes to COM1, and then, then uh, the neutral, or uh, the black jumper, comes to COM2, and uh, basically in my scenario, I'm applying 220 volts, but this, if you have a neutral wire, you can just connect one leg of the hot and the other one neutral, but in my case, I have 220, so I'm just gonna supply it with 220, and uh, here it says, you can apply anywhere from 20 volt to 227 volt. Sorry, not 20, 120 volt. You can apply anywhere from 120 volt to 277 volt. So uh, again, 220, and then this is coming in and going out. And then uh, now I think we're ready to power this up. In my case, I have an on and off switch. So in my case, I'm just gonna leave it on. Um, and then once I power it up from the breaker, it's gonna power up my panel.